Hey guys, it's Jenny from The Bridal Collection. Welcome back to your how-to series. I know it's been a long time since I've been here, but I'm so excited and I have a lovely guest with me today. This is Sydney. She's gonna be modeling a bunch of different wedding gown silhouettes for us. To kick us off, we have Sydney in a gorgeous Justin Alexander ball gown. So this is a ball gown because it fits really nicely through her rib cage, through her bust, through her waist, and then it flares out from the bottom down there. This skirt can get bigger, it can get smaller if needed, but this is your traditional ball gown silhouette. Next we have Sydney in this amazing Lazaro mermaid gown. So you can tell it's a mermaid, it's pretty obvious because you get this really big flare at the end, but it fits all the way up from the hip to the bust and cinches right here a little bit above the knees. This mermaid drop can start a little bit lower. So your mermaid can also start right at the knees, making it really pop at the bottom. Next we have Sydney in this super romantic Lillian West gown. Um, it is an A-line style. You can tell it's an A-line because it literally makes an A out of the skirt here, how it kind of comes off the hip, flows to the ground here. It's tight through the bodice, but it differentiates from a sheath, a fit and flare, because it doesn't fit through her hips and hug her hips. Now we have Sydney in this gorgeous Martina Liana. Now this style is going to be your fit and flare. As it sounds, it's gonna fit all the way down through and then it's gonna flare a little bit at the bottom. It differentiates from a mermaid dress because you don't have that big poof at the bottom and it's also not quite as snug, but it does hug the hip a little bit more than an A-line. To round us out, we have Sydney in this really chic Savannah Miller dress. Now this is going to be your sheath or your column style. I know it's a little bit confusing and going between the fit and flare in this as they are a little bit similar, but the sheath or the column are just gonna follow the natural curve of Sydney's body through her hips, through her waist, no flare at the bottom. It just really sits on her natural frame. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really hope that this cleared up any misconceptions that you or your friends have about silhouettes of wedding gowns. If you have any further questions, drop a comment below and we'll get back to you. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube. See you next time.